Hello world. We're live. Part one up currently. How's everybody doing? Ah, I'm too quick on my phone. YouTube hasn't notified me that I'm live yet either. I've got to wait to get the comments up. For now, we can just have it open in OBS. Oops. And there we go, that's the life bubble. So now we have comments open on my phone, which is obviously the step one. Step two is gonna be sharing some of those links to my Discord. Uh, I've not really done much away offline. So over the past couple of streams, I have done a couple of details offline, like adding frames. What should we say today? Surprisingly, we're animating Miku. Though I'm thinking of having a break from the Miku for a little bit at some point. Because I don't know if people are getting bored. Well, I don't think people are getting bored, but I think variation is good in general. So people might want variation. It's probably the best word, better words to use. Okay, and I'll just need to send this into sending this link around, giving people a chance to show up. Hmm. Hmm. A few servers have gotten rid of um have like server updates like not server update but like you know manual ones like people have changed the layouts of their servers i don't <laughs> so i'm like oh i can't be bothered looking for the right channel i just won't post to this server today you know Uh, oh yeah, a uh, quick audio test, almost forgot that one. All seems good. So, where's my book? It's there. So actually, I do have a pen, but Pebble just jumps on the sofa, so maybe not sit on the floor. We're up to Easter, Christmas, Toy Box, and we have a request for the McDonald's Miku as well. Hi, Astro Blaze. First, you are first. Welcome. How have you been? Oh. I'm just making sure I've got things like comments ready to go. So I can read them. <laughs> I can swap over to part one so you can see where we're up to as well. Uh, part one. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, part two. There we go. Almost ready to go. They yeah, asked, please, how have you been? Were you at work today? Did you have a good day? Hopefully you did have a good day, whether you were in work or not. So I don't know if you were here to last stream. I don't think so. I did add a pirouette, so she's got some extra frames. And let's see. Pause. So these were the Mikus of last frame, last uh, stream. I like how the Snow Miku's dress turned out. Like she turned out really well. Uh, world is mine. 
and a cafe. Next is Easter. So we can do more Mikus. And then we've got this Christmas one. I think it's 2022? 2021 Christmas Miku. Toy box. That's where we're at. Thank you for the likes on the video as well, everyone already. Um, so yeah, we could do some line art or we could do some um, sketching. See, I've done coloured line art for them, but stylistically I'm debating whether I should keep this with the coloured line art or do the black line art. I think I'll do it in colour anyway. But it's like how uh, that one wouldn't have... I, I feel like it needed the black line art, you know? Astro Blaze, I'm good, thanks. I was at work today and didn't end up leaving until five minutes after close. Huh. Those are selfish idiots. That, yeah, checks out. But I just bought concert tickets, so I feel better now. What kind of concert? Are you going to Miku Expo in London? That's, that's the concert, right? Miku. <laughs> what did I get with lines anyway? Ah, I was partway through this one. Yeah, so I was having a problem with my uh, pen. So it was t it was picking up on touch input whilst using the pen, which it shouldn't have been doing. And it was making it impossible to do line art and very difficult to sketch. It was slowing everything down. Fixed it now. <laughs> Astro Blaze, I wish I'm seeing CG5 in October. Well, still, if you're going to go and watch a performance by someone you enjoy, that's pretty pog. Like, obviously, Queen Miku would have been cool as well, and I'd have had to sneak in with you. Why is it not selecting that? Wait. Oh, that's on the layer behind it. What's going on there? Right, I'm going to just delete the background layer and fix it this way. Was it doing it on this one too? Oh, of course. Well, I'm not sure what CG5 is. Does it... Oh, and it's in Manchester again, so I might be able to see you. That'd be cool. I'm just going to come to all the concerts. When is the other one again? Your other Manchester concert you're, you're off to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it detecting through the glove? I turned that off. I fixed that. Can you not? Thank you. I think it was just where my nail was. So the fabric was thinner. I don't know. My nails aren't even that long. Ah, June. Okay. Uh, so this Miku needs her legs and shoes. And it's also saving for auto recovery, so. This looks so much nicer than the sketch in the skirt area. Like, this one was so messy. I've deleted parts of it as I've drawn to make it clearer on my end. But then look at how neat the skirt is now. And the, sh and the hoop dress too. She's way more organized. <laughs> Master Blaze, my mum insists on buying lunch. She can buy lunch. Unless you mean she wants to buy everybody's lunch. I was going to say, it's like, I'm not going to stop her from buying food. If she wants to eat, she can eat. Imagine meeting someone and then you're like, oh, I need, I, I haven't had lunch one minute. I'm going to go and get a sandwich and just going, no. You ain't allowed lunch. Get out of here. Ah, so the tights go... Why am I so nervous about doing the legs? I'm overthinking it because of the transparent parts on the sleeves. So it's just the 
point, I think. I think we'll be safe doing it in the same colour. <laughs> oh, that's really that is what she means she wants to buy for all of us. Hmm. Greg's on Astro Blazer's mom. To clarify, Greg's is a bakery. They do really nice um, steak bakes. Pretty pop. They're a franchise, so it's not like it's anything um, fancy. It is literally just a steak bake, guys. Oh, it's going to be fun to see see you anyway, though. I'm doing them too thick, I think. So, what were you seeing in June? In June, anyway. In fact, I'm going to screenshot so I can put it on the calendar so we know. So I don't forget it's the twenty ninth again. I'm going to get that thinner. And um, the shoes are white too. So I think I'll just do the shoes in this line part too. Uh, I've really done these shoes dirty. Don't know if that's gonna look any better. Kind of. I need to adjust this though. Uh, Astro Blaze, I don't know, but they found me. Uh, an 80s inspired band, their music is See, the heart emoji on my chat is in the way of the last thing you wrote. So I, it looks like you wrote the, I don't know, but they found me's music is pop. <laughs> pop genre. genre. I know that band. I, I do recognize that one's name. We hear... So I can do some more drawing requests too. Oliver, hi, hello. I fixed the pen. So I'm just um, finishing off this Miku. Like I was gonna finish last time, but we were betrayed by the stylist, so we couldn't. How are you doing, Oliver? I know, I'll do this in a different color first and change it in a moment. I'm sad that I'm 13 minutes late. To be fair, 13 minutes isn't too late. But yeah, Astro Blaze beat you to the first. I'm gonna move this, but maybe, maybe, maybe next time. So we are live tomorrow too. Oliver, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well today. I've been doing some artwork. I've been working on some emotes. Really fun character. Looks great. And I've not really done much today. Today's been a slow day. I had a slow start to the day. You know, sometimes you wake up and it's like... Sometimes you wake up and you're just not in the mood for the day. It wasn't one of those days. It was one of them I woke up and... I just couldn't pick up in energy. Like, I wanted to do stuff. I was motivated to go and do stuff. 
but I just couldn't energize, if that makes sense. Whoa, what happened over here? I mean, I don't like this leg anyway. I'll just redraw it. But yeah, it was when it was on then days. We'll try drawing the blue part of her leg first. I know the dress doesn't actually have a blue part of the dress. I'm just using a contrasting colour for now. Right, so her leg's meant to be facing the front. I need to redo this sketch because I've not drawn myself anything easy to work with. So if the arch of her foot is there, her toes are there, let's try using that as a guide instead. So yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm just kind of like taking today at slow pace. And obviously I don't know, wait, well not obviously, I just don't know if I didn't tell you while you were here, but I fixed the pen issue we were having, which has made drawing way easier and quicker. Okay, that looks a bit better. Well, it looks a lot better comparatively. But I'll finish this sketch, um, not sketch, this line art, and we could do some more sketching if you want to see some sketching. Or we can do some more line art, and if we do line art, you can pick which one we do the line art from, chat, because I don't really have to do anything in order with this. It literally is just, like, once they're sketched in, they're in position, so I can do any line art on any Miku. So we can either do line art or we could do more sketches because we do have a couple more lined up. We're going to need even more to complete the project. So we're going to need more requests, but we do at least have like four extra so far to put in. Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot better than whatever I was doing a minute ago. Ugh. Really not vibing with this foot. And the little sparkly pom pom thing. Oops. Okay, and then because all this needs to be in the same color. Oops. I'm trying to get. I'll just get it with a pen. There we go. Okay. We have a Miku. Although I think I did decide I wanted... She needed eyelashes, maybe? Because her eyes look kind of weird to me. So I'm just going to put some eyelashes on this one. Because suddenly that's way better. Okay. Oliver, when I was playing Roblox, I had a character as my avatar and someone was like, life or bath for dry Georgia? Why are you bathing Georgia? Is she a scrub? <laughs> I misread, um, but somehow I managed to misread that as laundry and I thought you were playing Laundry Mat Simulator, which is also a game on Roblox. And it is literally that, a laundromat simulator. Sometimes when I can't sleep, I'll put on like the most random simulator games on Roblox. Or just the most random games in general. There was one that was Get Milk Simulator and you literally play as a dad going to the shop to buy milk. But there's like loads of different weird endings, right? And there was a bit in it where if you, somehow, your job is to go get milk. I managed to get a job, get hired, get a key into the basement of the shop, go down into the basement of the shop, I entered the bathroom, the staff bathroom, and when I entered the staff bathroom, it faded to black and then faded into the back rooms. I was terrified. It had the music and everything. I was just, was just like, what happened? Tell me. <laughs> Remember how I said I was a coward in games? That.
So do we does anyone have a preference on um, whether they want to see more sketches currently or line art? Um, I'll break this one into sections first. Oh, we should definitely give her a ba Easter basket, actually. That'd be cute. Um, she's got poofy pants on. So she's got, like, puffy pants, but then she's also got the extra ribbon part, which I'll just section off there. Um, I'm just, set, like I say, sectioning off bits. This isn't the final sketch. Oh, and then the sleeves have... Sleeves are actually pretty cute, actually. So they have the poofy part at the top, but then they turn into a full make you sleeve so add that in big bow more bunny ears uh flower crown a rough guide for her hair Oh, it's another one of them Mikus that has one pair of socks on. She does that quite a lot. That's quite common in Miku figures. The one sock. Anyone else notice that? I'm noticing that quite a lot with these figures. Ooh. She always has the prettiest hair. Like the colour in her hair on these fig this figure is lovely. Hey, Astro Blaze, if you had any Miku figure, what do you think you'd go for? Like you could get literally any Miku figure that exists. Do you have a go-to figure that you would want? I am a big fan of um, the pumpkin one, uh, one of the Halloween ones, we've drawn it, re this one, I'm a big fan of this one, she's gorgeous, I think I'd want her, I also am a big fan of this figure, the big version, I mean the little one's cute but the big one is stunning as well. Astro Blaze, I for, for a second I thought you were talking about real life. Oliver, oh. Gave art block again, I'm suffering and it hurts. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want to draw a Miku with me? Do you want to draw a Miku with me? That could be fun. I'm drawing Easter Miku. You could draw an Easter Miku too. And then it's on theme. <laughs> Quack Anonymous, hello, hello. Sorry I missed the past few streams. I was in hospital for four days. Oof. I'm sorry. I hope you're feeling better. Mr. Blaze, I've got an art book coming next week and I'm hoping that will cure my art book. And all of this said, hi, Quack. No, welcome back. It's great to hear from you. Um, I'll show you some of the stuff you've missed. We'll catch you up. So the new figures we've, we're doing at the minute is going to be Easter, Christmas, and Toy Box. I added a pirouette to the dance here. So we've got that in too. And the recent ones that we've covered, I'll put the references up so you can see it are as follows so you, you get to witness <laughs> i'm really happy with how this one turned out i thought her dress would look a mess honestly and it turned out pretty well so i'm not sure how far back we did get up to tokidoki i think that was one of your requests right quack anonymous cute 
Lastra Blaze or, more accurately, overpower my Baldur's Gate addiction. Potentially. I think, um, oh, who was it? I want to say, oh, hi, and it's not, oh, hi. <laughs> I'll remember in a moment. Um, suggested putting this up here on the level and polka so it can reference the face. They actually dropped this doodle they've done in my Discord server. So they actually doodled that. So it's on the corner so I don't forget to add it in. Oliver, am I draw a toy box Miku? Yes, do it. So I think you were here for these ones, maybe. If not, I can just come through them. So I think you're definitely up to date with those. And if we're to press play real quick. But I do hope you're feeling a lot better now. I know sometimes when you get out of hospital, you're not 100% recovered, right? And sometimes they can send you out where it's a case of you're healthy enough and stable enough, but you're still going to feel bad for a while. I'm hoping it's the, it's the bit where you're like 100% and you're out and happy, you know? So yeah, the stream's going pretty well. The Mikus are doing pretty well. Hard emotes. I can do that too. Spams. So Oliver, you're drawing the toy box, Miku. Hope it turns out well. It is so pretty. This one's toy box, by the way, everyone. She's so pretty. Such a pretty figure. I say that a lot on these streams, honestly. Okay. Right, so one leg holds place, one hand holds place. Whoa, that's messy. Sorry, I've got an onion skin on. I will turn it off in a moment. I'm just marking where her feet and hands are. And she's about to stompy that leg. Ooh. Love that. Ooh. It's not long line it did. Ew. And then this arm's moving from here to here. Maybe we should keep our eyes closed for an extra frame. And her mouth is there. Okay. But she's only just closed her eyes, so I should probably keep them closed for an extra frame and hold that as well. Okay. Huh. Where should we start on this? I kind of want to start with the flowers on her head, to be honest. So it's two big flowers and then the other one is a flower inside a bow. Ah! No idea where we were there for a minute. Oh, I'm on purple. Not the core. I like splitting up daisies like this because then they come out somewhat symmetrical. And then, and also full. Nice. Well, so Astro Blaze, you, are you doing any art currently? I know Oliver's working on a Miku. Oliver's having a good at valiant attempt at fighting the art block. And Quack Anonymous, do you draw? Do you like to create? I suppose there are other ways to create that aren't just drawing. Need that up. I know most of today I've spent working on um, emotes, which has been fun. 
and I'll be colouring in one of those later and hopefully doing some sketching on some of the others later as well. So I'm bending that one on purpose because it is going under the ear. So I'm angling it a little bit on purpose and hoping it looks intentional. Hmm. See, those flowers are fine. I think I need the centre of them to be bigger though. Because they're kind of ugly. That's better. But the flower on the bow needs to be bigger as well. Whoop, back anonymous. I make games. I also enjoy voice acting. Voice acting was something that came up on the last stream, I think. I was talking about how I'm going to be making pilot animations and I was discussing the concept of how to find voice actors and how sometimes people will just do the thing where they release scripts and be like, here's a demo line. Here's what the character looks like. Now read the line and I will maybe get back and hire you sort of thing when people do that sort of casting. So voice acting actually came up last stream. That's cool though. Anonymous, I want a voice act. Well, if I do need any characters voice actor, well, I will need characters voice actor. It's just a case of step one, I need to settle on things like scripts and all that. But I would be essentially probably putting out a notice for it on YouTube community or Instagram or something when I do have to do that. Oh, voice acting is really cool. I think it's really, really fun. The concept of your voice being like a whole character. And then you get those pictures where you've got voice actors have acted loads, right? And you can get like a picture of the person and then with them pictures of all the different characters they've voiced. Like, is it Tara Tara Strong? I think it's a Tara. And she does so many. Like, she's done both Angel from Lilo and Stitch and then things like Bubbles. Very, very varied. Very, very talented. But there are definitely different layers to it, like working out... Well, step one, you need to you need a script. Step two, you need to plan like how you're gonna go about payment and credits. Because obviously we've got to have people in the credits. I love the credit section of things. I find really exciting because um, well, when it's my own stuff, because I feel like the more names on it, the more professional it seems to feel. The more people that have worked on a project, you know. Oliver, I've seen so much drama with a creator I like about something that happened to them and I keep having to explain what actually happened. And that sounds pretty tiring. So, internet drama sucks. I don't know who the creator is though, so I can't really comment. But I know even, even if... Even if they're actually in the wrong, whoever it is, when you're a fan of somebody and then you find out they've done something really disappointing, I know that can get exhausting. The amount of people recently where they're like, oh, all my role models are turning out to be problematic. And um, yeah, that can get pretty sad pretty quick. Let alone if they're actually innocent, you know? And then you've got to see your favourite creators getting trolled. Bunny is. I'm still not entirely sold on the petals. I want to rework them. But I know the in the final they'll be done cuter and neater anyway. So will the ears. 
And if I get too precious on the sketch, I'm just basically wasting time, you know? Bunny. I may, might make this here a little bit longer. That looks better. rid of the pink because it's a little bit cluttery. Turned out pretty quick, this one. The sketching helps. Well, I'm not really sure we can call it sketching. It's just like blocked out shapes. Okay, so the basket's just a normal wicker basket with a bit of fabric on top. So we'll do that. And then obviously she's got some Easter eggs. You can't be an Easter bunny without Easter eggs. What kind of... Does anyone in chat that celebrated Easter... Does anyone actually do the thing anymore, really, where you, like, get painted eggs instead of actual eggs? Like, chocolate eggs, sorry. So you get actual real eggs that have been painted or decorated. And if you do, what do you do with them? So now, like, the traditional method of painting eggs is actually a thing. And sometimes, some people do actually do that on Easter and hand them out. When I was a child, I was always like, what do you do with it, though? Once you've got it, like, and how long do you keep it for? Because in, in a way, it's like a decoration, right? With a chocolate egg, you eat it. With a egg egg, you eat it again. But with a dyed egg, how long are you going to keep that? What are you going to do with it? You're like, oh, thank you. You put hours into this. I'm going to bin it tomorrow. Yeah? Oliver, since they're an artist, it makes it worse for them. Okay, I'll bite. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to think of artist drama. I don't know any. <laughs> I mean, the only artist drama I seem to, like, come into contact with is occasionally when people are being mean on TikTok. And they're like, oh, you're not allowed to do chicken scratch. You're not allowed to have this art style. You're not allowed to have that art style. And ultimately, it's just people bullying new artists and being mean in general. Oh, is it something to do with people being mad at someone else's Headcanon interpretation of a character. That's a popular one. That's a popular one, isn't it? Like like with My Little Pony, I think a while ago, somebody drew... Quite, no. Pink one. Pinky, Pinkie Pie. They drew Pinkie Pie as a, a black woman. And she was also fat. And people went absolutely crazy about it. And it's like... It's a headcanon of a talking pony. Calm yourself. I never saw the original. I, I think I did, but I have a very hazy memory of it, so I'm not sure if I did or if that's just another interpretation. Oliver, I want to say why, but I don't think I can for obvious reasons. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, if they are innocent, like you've said, hopefully it should blow over. Because if it is stuff like when people on TikTok just harass someone, then usually that should blow over in like a week-ish, which is a long time to be getting a load of hate off strangers off the internet and is enough to damage, you know, someone's mental health and confidence. But... Usually the trolls have moved on by then. Assuming it is just something like... When the TikTok trolls are like, Oh, you have an amateur art style. I'm going to harass you now and say you can't draw. And it's like, no one's born with the perfect ability to draw. You have to learn that. Like, I could only imagine how badly it would have affected my 
self-esteem and ability to draw if when I posted like my beginner art when I first started online I received a bunch of hate off strangers on the internet commenting on like my line art not being neat enough how many buttons she got one two three four it's like, oh, your line art's wobbly, so therefore we're going to get 100 strangers on the internet to just attack. It literally wouldn't surprise me if these things had, like, a Reddit place where people just go, cool, this, this artist, let's just all pile in on that, because how do these sort of things get brought into the limelight from just one troll, you know? So it's, like, fluffy, fluffy. And then after the fluff is more ruffles, but her hands are kind of covering that. Oh, I did get an idea for the music. I've got an idea for what I'm going to do for the audio, and I have kind of an idea for the background illustration. So for the background illustration, I'm thinking of doing... Um, I'm thinking of holding it for multiple frames because I don't want it to be a flash problem. But if I pick maybe like two or three stages, maybe five max, and then I can swap out the stage behind Amiku's from different music videos, if that makes sense. So not as many as the Amiku's itself, because I think if the whole background was changing like that, it'd be a flash hazard, um, like epilepsy flash. Um, but... I reckon if I just do a couple of stages, that might look fun and not messy. So that's another thing. I don't want it to look messy and kind of take away from the Mikus. Because let's be real, the Mikus are where all the effort's going right now. <laughs> Oliver, I've seen so many hate videos about them saying, oh, they did this. You shouldn't like them anymore. So many people have to explain and other people are like, them cancel name for what they did to them. Oh, they should cancel the name for what they did to them. And it's getting out of hand. Hmm. It does sound like a difficult situation. And again, it also sucks as a fan because innocent or not, it's like, it's, it's, it's not great either, you know? Like I was saying earlier, when some people will pull out receipts and prove that an artist or a creator on the internet has done some dodgy or illegal, and then as a fan hearing your favourite creators or people that you've idolised let you down like that. Especially when like multiple cases come out about different people. And so... Where's her arm on this? That's her upper sleeve. So yeah, her arm bends there. So that's okay doing that. And then we've got Tommy. Oh, she's got a big bunny tail too. I don't know why I'm surprised. Also, I think Toy Box Miku has just cured my art block. That's perfect. I'm glad to hear it. Have you finished drawing your Toy Box Miku? Or are you still working on her? Oops, I did not mean to call that. Delete. I'm going to get another bow. This is actually really cute. She looks so happy to be here. Okay, we're on to the poofy pants. Then again, that's kind of specifically this ruffle shape on the hem, as opposed to ribbon ruffles. So we'll do it in this way. Hmm. No, I'm glad you're feeling better with your art block. There we go, Astro Blaze, we've got a solution. You need to draw Miku's. Come draw Miku's with us.
Astro Blaze, Astro Blaze, me Miku. me Miku. Okay. Ruffle one, ruffle two, ruffle three. It's covering her leg a little bit. Uh, I'll detail that later. Oh yeah, her one sock, of course. Now that's her traditional ruffle. Like just a messy ruffle. Poofy, fluffy. I think these fluffy shoe things, these ruffles around her ankles, are also kind of popular in Miku figures, I've noticed. I think Toy Box literally has one. Not quite, but similar. But yeah, there's another Miku we've done, I think, that had pom poms around her ankles and only one sock. I think we've seen this before. It might be one of the anniversary Mikus. Oliver, people bring up the past like it's in the past they changed. Mm, I know that one can be a thing. It's like it can depend on what the thing in the past was, but typically, yeah, people people can change and learn and grow. That's part of being human. So like, it can depend on what it is as to the severity and things like that. But it's like a, like people's beliefs can change. And I'm not talking religion. I mean, like, if people have, like, a harmful opinion on something, as, say, a teen, they don't necessarily have that now. Like, bigotry. You can educate yourself and become less bigoted, for example, is what I'm getting at here. But that doesn't mean that you can't take responsibility for your past actions. So, like, if you were bigoted in one way or another as a teen... For example, um, you know, if you've grown up in a bigoted household, then they're probably going to pass them views on to their children. They're going to enforce them views. As an adult, it's up to you to learn better, do better and grow. And you can grow and you could learn and go, well, heck, my family were wrong. Like there's no shame in learning and growing. That's something to be proud of is learning and growing. But if you directly harm someone, like, so let's say you said something harmful to someone in your past, it would still be up to you to apologise. Like, you don't have to seek them out and apologise, I guess, but just because you've grown doesn't mean that you can't take responsibility for your actions. Like, if you've hurt someone, you know? Oliver, they're thinking of quitting just to stop the drama. See, I don't think quitting would solve it, really. That's part of the problem as well. Um, When people come from cancel culture, the attitude of we're just going to harass you till you stop doing what you're doing, and by that I mean if they're an artist and they're posting, posting non-harmful art, like if they're posting something harmful, then I can see why people want to stop it. But if they're just, I don't know, drawing people's Roblox OCs or something, then it'd be like, why should they quit their job for it? Why, why, what, what's with cancel culture and just the goal of bullying someone off the internet? It's not constructive. It's never done in a constructive way. I'll say it can be very subjective, but... Ultimately, like you said, people can learn and grow. That's part of being human. But at the same time, that doesn't mean you're completely ridden of consequences of your past. You can apologise for the stuff you've done. Um, and do better. But yeah. Growing is important. Being able to apologise is important. But you need to also be doing it for the right reasons. Like, if you're being trolled and you're only saying sorry because 
the trolls are harassing you, then the trolls haven't really succeeded in anything, have they? They've just peer pressured. You know? This turned out well. This was a little bit intimidating at first, I'll be honest. Because of all the details, I was worried it was going to look too messy or something. I didn't think I'd do it justice. The figure itself isn't messy. It's more I was worried I'd make it look messy, you know? Gosh, I got reminded that garage kits exist for figures today. Uh, garage kits means that, you know, you can buy a figure. Like, if you bought this bunny Miku, you'd be getting this with the, the beautiful colours and paint, right? But if you got a garage kit, you'd be getting the figure with the same high quality, but it'd be, like, grey or something, because the point is you paint it yourself. And that's what a garage kit refers to. And I've seen some really talented people work these garage kits. So stunning job, stunning job they've done. And similarly, uh, I've seen somebody do some Dragon Ball themed ones. Now, the Dragon Ball ones aren't garage kits, but they've been painting them. So the figures normally look kind of like this, where it's just a figure and it's painted like the yellow bit is yellow plastic or yellow paint. But what they were doing was painting the Dragon Ball mon models with a type of cell shading and block shading so that they look like they're from the cartoon. And it's insane. It really does look like they've just photoshopped pictures onto the shelf. But the 3D models that they've painted, so talented. It's so cool. I look at it and think, damn, I want to try that. But I, I, I won't be able to get that quality. <laughs> oh. Let's make this bit a bit longer because it's kind of just blending in there, isn't it? Let's do that. Got Neru in the background. Such a bop, really. Law Evading Rock, I think. Yeah? Yeah, Law Evading Rock. In the animation, he's got his um, lens head is like this. Um, and he's got his body. But they animate him dancing and they just tween his head going backward and forward at an angle like this. So when it goes on ambiently in the background, I kind of feel compelled to start bopping my head along as well. Oh, her face gets a bit smaller. Okay, so we need to make a... F Look at the things on her head. The leaves kind of grow into the bunny ears. Those two, those two outfits work pretty well together. I am going to have to make her head a little bit bigger, though. Or do we just need to lower the chin? I think the chin just needs to be lowered, actually. Oliver. Now people are hating on them more because someone, knew, someone they know quit. They don't need to quit. If they're doing something problematic... Then just go and do the problematic thing. You don't have to quit con like content creating. And like like because you said it was something from the past, right? Like if I if it's like if if I suddenly got cancelled because I said something wrong in the past, there'd not there wouldn't really be much point to stop doing this project right here and now and be like right no more miku 100 i'm not doing any more miku art because this th why you don't need to stop but at the same time you've got to understand the even though even if it's the case of oh i said something in the past and they're mad at me so now i'm going to stop doing this miku project i'm doing now you got to understand the how scary it can be when the internet comes after you. So it's like my chat is wonderful. Oliver, Quack Anonymous, you guys are all, um, Astro Blaze, you're all, you're all great. Dear Rain, Naveen, the people that regular, 
Hara. That's who did the level and polka face. It was Hara. And Oi recently has been in a few streams. Like, you're all great. But when the internet turns on you, you've got to imagine what the chat would look like. Because hypothetically here, those people would probably be in the chat and they probably wouldn't be saying nice things. Which wouldn't be nice for my, um, what's the word, mental health. And probably wouldn't be nice for chat's mental health either. Because one, if you're here as a fan, you either enjoy my content or you enjoy Miku. So you're not going to want to see either of those things be, you know, harassed. And then the type of stuff in the comments, you don't know how severe it'd be. Some people I know when this sort of drama on the internet happens can also get docked, meaning the people will find and release private information like their emails, PO boxes, some in, in horrible cases, addresses that can get dodgy. So like the hate mail can pile up. So she might, or they might, sorry, not be quitting because of relevance. It could literally be they can't handle the pressure. And if they did quit because of the pressure, there's still also the chance that once things have calmed down, that they'll come back to the internet in one way or the other. So it is sad, but unfortunately that sort of thing, like, I can't imagine. It's a nightmare, honestly. <laughs> a nightmare scenario. I'm The laugh there was nervous. I do that, sorry. A nightmare scenario is definitely messing up in one way, especially if it's by accident. <laughs> like, if you've actively done something to cause a controversy then you can't be surprised at the consequences of your actions right but like if you've done it by accident and then one day you wake up and suddenly your name's trending and it's not a good reason like in dream scenario your name's trending and it's wow look at this creator they did this really cool thing look at this animation wow and then like i look at my animation or my comic or something is trending that's a dream scenario uh, you don't want to see, look at this creator, they're a big stinky doo-doo head and they said stinky doo-doo things on live. And then be like, oh no. Oliver, I feel so bad for them. I'm sorry, Oliver. Well, I do, I do hopefully, hopefully, like you said, if it's a case of they said something in the past or whatever and they're like, yo, I was like 12, I'm in my 20s now, I know better, sort of example. I'm going to block out the shapes again, hang on. Um, then hopefully they should be clear of the worst of it in like a week. Because that seems to be the trend for that sort of thing, honestly. Like what I was saying where like people complaining about headcanons of characters... Like, unless you're actively whitewashing a character, which is racist directly, headcanons are kind of headcanons, you know? Like, so long as you're not doing anything that's directly harmful and intentionally, air quote, headcanoning in a way that is erasing culture or representation on purpose, out of spite, then it's a headcanon. Go. Is it something like My Little Pony as well? That one. The one in mind, like I've seen it happen a lot, but a whole show where the like friendship is the whole point of this, and then you get people that are like, I'm gonna bully you. I know Steven Universe had a really bad one as well. Astro Blaze, one of my biggest fears with my fangan is that I'll accidentally write something offensive or problematic. Mm. I think. If you, as long as you do enough research and you don't have to like go absolutely crazy with your research and by that I mean so crazy that you're not publishing anything because you're not doing anything because you're too scared that's a problem, that's anxiety ultimately if you accidentally wrote something offensive that wasn't directly offensive but upon reflection you realised oh no that was like a closed practice or something and I didn't know usually 
I think the best the response to that is just to admit that you've done something wrong and you didn't know. I think is the best way to handle these things. I never see creators really to like you always see apology videos. And the apology video is always like a big excuse and why and this, that, and the other. But like just to say, hey. I didn't know, and I am sorry, and it wasn't meant to hurt or upset anyone. I now know and can educate myself on this. You know? I think companies are the worst for that sort of thing, where they're like, oh no, we're going to come up with a crazy reason to explain why this wasn't problematic and is actually fine, when they could literally just turn around and say, hey, we messed up, we're sorry. Especially a company, because at the end of the day, Astro Blaze, you're one person. A company doesn't have an excuse because a company has enough money to hire and talk to people and not make them mistakes. One person researching is one person researching and a mistake is a mistake. There's a big difference between something that you may have accidentally done and something you've maliciously done. So there's some there's some level of leniency. There's responsibility that's fair. But it's like what I was saying, like literally be like, I am sorry. Yeah, there's just a huge difference between a malicious attempt versus Something ignorant, you just didn't know. So the the like ignorance is frustrating, but unfortunately it's just something that we have to deal with. Like um with racism and um what's it, industrialized racism or something like that. I almost said institutionalized, that's not the right word either. It's kind of like, what's the wording? I'll remember it eventually. But essentially it means that, especially if you're like white, there's a lot of racism that's just ingrained into society that you have to learn and overcome, essentially. Not like a, oh, poor white person has to overcome this challenge. It's just, no, it's just, Racism is a, is a thing, and you can only be so aware and learn so much. You're not part of that culture. You're not born knowing things, you know? And again, big difference between I didn't know and I was trying to hurt and upset someone. And usually when you look at the content, you can tell when they're being made fun of versus when it was just something stupid. Internalized racism, astroblaze, yes, it's that word. I know it begins with an I. Oliver, I know this has nothing to do with right now, but I've cried so many times because I've been told you know your favorite shows won't go away or stay forever. Like, you don't need to tell me that. Won't go on or stay forever. Yeah, that that used to hurt me a lot as well, those lines. Something else that used to really hurt me was, um, it's so like my dad used to say that sort of stuff a lot, and he used to take joy in telling me when voice actors have passed away. I hated that. It, it, it was like telling me that the character had died. Astro Blaze, true. Or they will go on forever and it won't be good anymore. Mm. They'll live long enough to become the villain. Yeah. It's like, we know that the shows are going to come to an end. But especially if it's a comfort show for someone as well. There's no need in just, hey, by the way. 
I'm going to take it away from you one day. But like, go away. I mean, you never know. Sometimes when the shows go away, they get extras. Like, wasn't Steven Universe cancelled and then got a movie? I think it was cancelled first, right? Oh, actually, I think Steven Universe was one of the shows where they did it. There's a thing that people do in the industry, Cartoon Network's really bad at it at the minute, where they'll cancel the show, I think it happened to Owl House as well, um, after season three or before season three, because there's a rule where if you have a show for more than three seasons, then your animators are, and writers are, do a pay increase, I've heard. I think in America, I think it's an America issue, that one, potentially. But considering America is where most of the stuff gets written and done, it's a bigger issue. So I think Owl House and Steven Universe also had that, where they were cancelled, but then got another season, where it's like Steven Universe, and then it's got another word after it, Astro Blazel now. And then it's basically a continuation of the show, but because it's technically a new series and now season one, not season, a new show and now season one, they can do the thing with the pay. So sometimes that happens and that's why they're cancelled at three. Uh, TYMSD. Hi, I just joined. Thank you. Welcome. We're animating Mika requests. I don't suppose you have any because uh, we are due some. It was Steven Universe Future. There we go. We're going to make Mika requests. I'm in the middle of detailing um, 2021 Christmas. And we have Toy Box. Um, I'll play the animation for you, actually. So each frame gets a different Miku. Each Miku is a different request from someone. I'm just going to hide the references so it's less flashy. This is part two. Finally, someone says T-Y-M-S-T, correct. <laughs> You're welcome. Oliver has, says hello. And Love has asked, what's your opinion on South Park? I haven't watched South Park in yonks. I think the way it's animated in episode one is particularly interesting. I think it has its moments compared to... I can't stand Family Guy. Can't. I'm already feeling like I'm going to pass out from how much I can't stand for the guy. Um, Simpsons, I think, gets repetitive. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of bored of Simpsons. Uh, South Park. I think it has its moments. It's definitely controversial. But I think it's got some interesting statements in terms of how it's ran from a industry perspective. So like how episode one, it was all actually animated with pieces of paper and a scanner. That is very interesting and very cool. And then the rest of it, once it got picked up, they used puppets. And then when some other stuff about like how it's ran is like something to do with um, how long they have per episode and how quickly they have to write, animate, produce and kick out an episode. I've can't quite remember oh and t-y-m-s-t i'll play part one so we've got more mikus here oh welcome each one of these is a request they're all it's a little community project um we've got no repeats in the mikus either and we're currently we have 92 mikus out of 100 but i've been doing a subathon so when i gain a subscriber live i'll add an extra miku frame so we do actually have an extra nine Mikus to add, but we do need more modules or figures to add to the list. So if anyone's got any favorites, please feel free to drop them in chat. Love, did you ever watch South Park? Yes, I did. Because I really like to binge series while I'm working. <laughs> so sometimes I'll be like, mm, I need something that is... I need shows that are engaging enough to listen to and to kind of like watch for your peripheral, but not something you need to sit and like stare at the plot and be like, yes, I'm watching every single moment. I can't miss any of these visuals, you know? 
So I did I did watch some of it in college. I've not watched it in ages. Um the closest I've watched South Park recently is like the occasional clip on TikTok. It's got like Subway Surfer beneath. I saw the clip recently where they were taking the mick out of prime energy drinks and it was just a scene where Cartman was walking along like, I've got cred. <laughs> and then they were getting like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Can I draw her as Sailor Moon? And Oliver, my dad used to put Rick and Morty or Family Guy in front of me when I was young. Um, do you mean, is Sailor Moon a figure specifically, or did you mean to put Sailor Moon? I'm not being rude, I'm checking because there's a lot of Mikus, so it could be either. I would love to draw her as Sailor Moon, but she would need to have had an official co uh, collab. So the rules are, it just needs to be, it needs to be Miku, official, and... There needs to be, like, an outfit, so I need to be able to see something to draw, you know? But I did used to watch South Park. I could never stand... I understood the satire in South Park was more actual satire, whereas in Family Guy, the humour wasn't... I didn't see the humour as humour or satire. It was just hateful. I feel like the first, like... Oh. I'm like, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to mention any particular family guy clips because they are just I disagree with most of it. It's, it's a lot of just racism, transphobia, there's a, a lot. And it's never a satire whereas with South Park the satire usually is political. So it's usually mo mocking political figureheads and celebrities, as opposed to joking and bullying people for just existing. Like, I know South Park is problematic. It's more of a guilty pleasure show in that way. But compared to Family Guy specifically in this sense, nah. Because <laughs> remember my parents would um, put Family Guy on and they'd be like, oh yes, this is so funny, and I'm there like... It's an animation, so, you know, when I was little, so I was like, it's a cartoon. So I feel like I should enjoy it, but how come I don't? And that's how I learned that some cartoons are for grown-ups. Um, I meant Miku was her, and uh, okay, I dislike Family Guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like... Cringing through gritted teeth at Family Guy, like, ugh. Not good. <laughs> As for um, Oliver, you mentioned you watched Rick and Morty. I did watch Rick and Morty. I enjoyed it at first, but after a while, it started to lose whatever it was it had. I'm not sure what the right word is. I think it went from... It went from like a bleak irony to trying to just be as shocking as possible. It started to feel like it was more of a game about what, how far can we push it as writers where Adult Swim won't air it, is how Family, uh, not Family Guy, is how Rick and Morty later seasons start to feel. And then they all just turned into improv. Which was funny for an episode. <laughs> like, like it was a good idea for a episode where it's like, oh, we're going to do a crud TV episode and the joke is the writing may as well be improv because it's all so bad, so we're going to actually improv it. And I was like, it's funny for an episode. And then they started doing it to write all the rest of the episodes too. And it's like, guys, you need, you need to be a writer, please. Jesus. Plays because you have taste. Yeah. Some of the guys don't even look good. I hate that art style. That's one of my gripes with adult animation. Why why do creators think that adults want to look at ugly stuff? 
Like you've got Family Guy art style, you've got Big Mouth. Bob's Burgers, I've heard from a writing perspective, is at least better, but they look awful. They look so bad. Okay? And then there's that new one on Netflix, I think, like, something like Linda in the End of the World or something, and she looks like a cyclops. The eyes are literally, like, together, and what what is what is the theme with? Okay, so we're going to do an adult animation. We just need to make it revolting to look at. Why can't why can't they make something that looks good? And why do the themes always have to be somewhat weird? Bojack Horseman. I'm sorry, but that's ugly too. <laughs> that is also ugly. Love. I just realized every like cartoon for adults is in Fortnite. For real, I'm here, seventeen, watching Bluey. I love Bluey. I watched Bluey while I was in hospital and I was like, I saw clips on TikTok. Ooh, Oliver, now I'm on to uh, Spybox as well. I saw clips from Bluey on TikTok and I was like, you know what? You know what? Okay, fine. I'll buy it. I'll watch it. It's just so pleasant. And, you know, doesn't look ugly. Gosh, have you seen recently? The publicity stuff that Bluey does is so inventive as well. Like, the official Bluey TikTok for a while was doing a bunch of stop motion. I love that. They'd, like, do stop motion animations with some audio samples from the show. Oliver, I'm still shading. Help. Oh, I can't help you. I can send you luck. Good luck. I'll do. How how quick how quick can we speed draw? No, that that's too bad. Here we go. Mr. Blaze will know this one already. And that's like one of one of my goals with animation is I want to make stuff that makes people smile and I want to make stuff that looks good. So my goal is, does it look nice and does it make someone smile? I have achieved my goal. That was my goal. There you go. Wait, no, that's not a lucky clover. The whole point was to make it lucky. There you go. Put him in a little Powerpuff Girl pose. You get very, very off model Lucky Colby. He's one of my characters. He is a child. There you go. He wishes you luck, Oliver. You can do it. Polka dot bow. You know, out of all these Mikus I've drawn, no idea which one I'd rather have now. Love. Yeah, it helps. Um, helps kids like Bluey, Dad, Mom, Divorce, and things like that. Mm hmm. I like that it encourages as well. Um, it encourages, like, just like, it's just wholesome behaviors in general. It's good at teaching those sort of things. It inspires actual curiosity again. And the whole concept of like, I suppose similar to slow living. Ooh, jump on hair. That's better. It encourages the use of imagination as well. And some of the episodes are so beautifully done. Like not not to be not to be basic, but the bedtime one was it called like big girl sleep or something and it's about how bingo was scared about sleeping on her own for the first time i like how that one's littered throughout it with um i think that's a oh that's a point love you're gonna dream about me too Probably will end up dreaming about Miku at this rate. Maybe I'll be at my own Miku Expo. Oh, 
Miku Bluey collab. When? I mean, <laughs> I know, um, oh, recently they've got this whole thing going on about uh, selling the healer house. And I think there might actually be a real line you can call for it or something. Because on TikTok, they did a little animation with a fake, um, like a fake answering machine. And it was all families. And there was one where, like, some little kid was like, Tell Bluey I love her, okay? And it's like, oh. And, like, people being like, You better not sell the house. I think at one point they did a store a storefront in, I think, in Australia. I've, as I was saying it, I forgot which city. But they did a storefront where they built big 3D window displays and it's insane like proper animatronics real functioning animal animatronics for like a big window display you can probably find it if you google or search on youtube um bluey animatronic window display would probably give it you henry comes back soon rizzler Where's the Rizzler? Miku? Colby? You? Are you the Rizzler? <laughs> Love, A, you will get the free Miku tickets in your dream then. Yes. I'm going to be at Miku Expo and make it a lucid dream. Then I get to be in charge of the set list. I'm going to make sure the band is actually visible. And I'm going to have an actual hologram. Why in there? It could be literally Miku. It's a dream. Boom. Not even a hologram. It's actually Miku. What's under her eye? Is that a star? Oh, welcome, Henry. We're animating Miku requests if you do have any Mikus. It just needs to be an official Miku. And Miku needs a design. And then I can put it in. And by that I mean we literally have stuff in here like Battle Cats and Powerpuff Girls. So, yeah. I'll press play so people get a chance to have a look. Oh, and I'll hide the references so it stops flashing. Ta-da! Love, my six-year-old niece thinks she's real. She is real! Oh, did your niece have a favourite Miku? Put more Mikus in. <laughs> I was about to ask why Colby's her. It's because he's bringing all of us some shading fortune. Oh yeah, and um, part one for everyone that's not seen that, we've got more Mikus over here. I miss that. It's like when you're a child and like you believe that cartoon characters really exist. I remember I was too literal with it, though, because I remember... So, like, you know Disneyland, right? And the whole... How Disney's like, Don't ruin the magic! You need to believe we're real! Even as a little child, I was like, Well, I like the fun of these mascot suits, and I'll pose for pictures, and I'm still going to hug the big characters in suits. But I am fully aware that that is not going to be the real character. And, like, my parents would be like, well, what? no, obviously it's real because they're trying to sell it. And my logic, I'd literally apply with, listen, I've watched Lilo and Stitch. Lilo is a little girl like me and a human. She's not made of fabric, okay? And two, Lilo is a little girl like me. Stitch is the same size as Lilo. He is not taller than my dad. That's not really Stitch. That's a costume like at Halloween. I know, I know. I'll still give it a hug if I get the opportunity because I, I appreciate the fun and it's cool. But I'm aware that isn't really Stitch. I was even as like a small child. <laughs> Love, imagine a 40 year old. <laughs> For kids to hug. <laughs> Is that a Miku request? They might be able to tell the difference. 
I mean, there is also the whole point where, like, you know, everything is... Miku doesn't have an official only appearance. And where people are like, Miku can be anything. Miku can be a 40-year-old man in a costume. That, that, that could still be Miku. <laughs> I, I get it, though. Love, no. Look, I will not do that to her. I mean, there is that one Miku design where it's literally just a head, Shite Yanyo. That's just a, a head. And a pair of legs. This is an official Miku. Where instead of the pigtails, it's just her legs. Draw a 40 year old Miku. <laughs> We're getting so many side quests on this particular Miku, aren't we? All these side quests. If you're going to find an official 40 year old man Miku design, I wouldn't actually be surprised. Then I can put her in or him in. I wonder what the pronouns would be on that. I think there is an. The ha actually, I've seen male Miku designs in general, but I don't know if there's an official dude one. There is um, a Utah, Utah that has um, gender fluidity and has an official male and female uh, design. Alongside an official male and female voice bank. I believe they're the only Vocaloid to have that. It's unique to that character. They are in the transition scene in this. So it's a transition screen that has a bunch of those. Oh, uh, love, how do I send you it? If you go into the description, there is a Discord server link. So people have been sh sharing... Miku's in the general chat on my art server. So if you have got a request, you can drop it there. Like I say, so long as it's official and Miku has a design for it, it can go in. But yeah, there's a transition screen um, with like shooting stars and stuff, and on the shooting stars are extras like Teto and Gumi. And one of them is the one that is gender fluid. Because that was requests too. I was like, I'm going to do a transition slide. I need some characters. I want to put these ones in. I still don't know what the voice bank's called. Master Blaze, do Rin and Len not count? Oliver, and the cat with the four leaf clover worked. Yay! Colby of Luck. You called Colby with an L? Literally, just to clarify, because, like, it could sound like I'm saying Kobe. Kobe. And he has a pumpkin friend, too. The friend is Jack. Jack's actually easier to scribble down. Yeah, they're from the comics. Oh, no, we're getting another side quest. I'm going to make him T-pose. Oh no, that's a chunky leg. They're off model too. There they go. Toy box is like, how come I'm sharing the stage? None of the other Mikus had to share a stage. And Astro Blaze, what do you mean by do Rin and Len count? Do you mean for like a transition screen? I am trying to think of ways that I could include the other Vocaloids. And I do think Miku has efficiently potentially worn the other Vocaloids costumes before. I know she's at least got a Rin Chan Now costume, which is similar to Rin's. Rin Chan Now hasn't been requested, so we could put that in. And then she'd be in that outfit. Uh, Love, did you share something to the Discord? Because I can check in a moment. Oh, I actually have it open. I can check now. Yeah. Master Blaze. There's having multiple gendered voice banks because they're the gender bend of each other. You know... I can see why you could say that, but they are 
I can see where you're coming from, from a discussion perspective. I'm going to say no because they count as twins, whereas the the gender fluid character is canonically the exact same character. So they are one character with the same name, whereas Rin and Len are twins. So they've got a similar male and female version to the voices, but they're different. Uh, love, I can't find the group. It says error. No. That's weird. I bet I can just grab an invite real quick on my phone. I'll press play so there's something to look at. Oops. Get rid of the references. I'll see if I can just get an invite manually and um, drop that into the chat now. So you can click add up here, right? And just copy a temporary link. I'll drop a link now. There you go. Maybe the one in the description. I know one of them's working because people have been joining the server. So one of the Discord links are working. I don't know whether it's one in my bio or the one in the description, though. It must be the one in the bio. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Right. How to do that skirt. Put the side quests together. <laughs> So you've done shading. How much is left on your toy box, Miku, Oliver? What's the Astro Blaze? Did you draw Miku with us? Hmm. Tutu should probably be longer than that. Uh, and then it's ruffles along the side. She does have a big bow here. Mismatched socks. It's her left leg that has the stripey. I think that works proportionately. This is actually a pretty good pose for this particular Miku. Because... It's kind of got like the one foot balance, so it's a bit ballet. Mr. Blaze, I did not. I should be cast out in shame. Draw Miku. Okay, you can draw anything off this canvas, anything at all. You can draw anything you want to draw right now that's on the canvas currently. You should draw Shite Yanyo. <laughs> Go on, draw it. Astra, please. Astra, please. Okay, I'm going to raise this again. And ruffles. Is it just me? Or does her dress give cape vibes? Oliver, I'm drawing. So I'll definitely make... Hey, what are you drawing? Are you still drawing toy box? I know you said me said you did get your art block cured by toy box, which is great. And you have the Lucky Colby too. You're on track for your magnum opus today. <laughs> Stripes... Is it just me that's reminded of Kate? There's something that gives icing and frosting about her her dress to me. Right. Okay, they are very even ruffles, so they're kind of hourglassy. With some stitching. I like that they've included that gathered stitching detail. That's really interesting. 
Oh, the poofs need to be big enough to touch each other. Okay. Oliver, I'm done drawing Tyrant's Miku. I'm drawing something else now. That's great. Right, so these need to be like this big. Oh my gosh. These be like that. Okay, but I do want her arm to be overlapping the dress. And to clean this up because that is an absolute state at the minute. So I'm just going to delete it and paste that back in. Oliver, I have IBS paint accounts, so I have some art on there. Okay. I don't know how that works. Is it kind of like OneDrive or like a Google Drive where like it's a big saves everything to the cloud situation? Uh, she's cute, but I need to make that dress bigger, I think. But for now, focus on the Miku. Ruffles. I think again, these have turned out pretty cute. So is the McDonald's Miku, is there an official design for that, do we know? So I've not wrote it down yet because I've not actually checked. Uh, love, I've sent you on Discord. Okie dokie, I will check in a moment. Thank you. Oh, she has like a diamond and a star on the... Oh, I can hear Pebble coming in with his favourite toy. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh, baby. I could just hear, it's a feather. It's one of them where it's like a stick with feathers on the end. We got it him yesterday. It's his new favourite toy and he just walks around with it. But you can hear the stick dragging on the floor because he walks around with the feathers in his mouth. He's still walking around with it. He's just carrying it. Little baby. Yeah, he's just running around with it. He's having the time of his life. Okay. We've got toy box. Oh. Why is it saving like that? Either way, save please. We can 100 part two, yes. I'm on the Wii. Did you put it in the server? Oh my gosh, someone shared a drawing. That's really cool. Um, oh, in like, oh, she's cute. Naruto. Precious. I like the art style too. Her eyes are really pretty, actually. Can I add the, uh, the Naruto Miku? I think so. I should be able to. Is she an official Miku? Uh, 
Um, where are we up to here? I do need to get Miku as well. But is it is it an official design as well? Miku. Oh my gosh. McDonald's Miku has a figure. Really? That's a really specific Nendoroid. <laughs> You'd be like, I have two specific interests. Miku and McDonald's. <laughs> But then again, there's also the other one in here where it's like, I have two specific interests. Miku and Battle Cats. <laughs> Wait, didn't she get into Fortnite? They're adding Miku to Fortnite, I think. Where are we up to on the frames? Here. So that was next on the list is this one. She needs to be recolored. Oh, wow. Okay. I see this a bunch of messy line arts at the bottom that needs to go first. No, it is tempting to add her in. Because um, I think another one, like, um, what's it bear? Ka is it Kairi? Kairi? Ka 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 uh, love. They should make Miku and concert event in for in Fortnite. Yeah, they did a marshmallow concert in Fortnite, didn't they? So why can't we have Miku concert? Huh? Right, so I think she's about to jump up. So yeah, everything can be changed. Well, that's a very mustard yellow. I've not been doing those. This is basically a classic Miku, but ketchup flavored. <laughs> Ketchup flavored Miku. I wonder what Miku's McDonald's order would be. At least it's literally just ketchup and mu ketchup and mustard themed Miku instead of just straight up Ronald McDonald Miku. Like, I get clown designs can be cute, but um, Ronald McDonald, I don't think is the cutest clown out there. <laughs> oh, Kairiki, not Kaiki. Okay. Because they're Miku, not Miku. But it's Miku's voice bank and a design for the video, therefore, it works. Should we put like a happy meal in her? <laughs> we need to bring her eyes up. What was your f anyone here ever had McDonald's as a kid? And what was your favorite toy? Do you have a favorite happy meal toy? I know most people probably don't. But some of them were cool. Like, they used to put in entire video games in them. Hair piece. 
has to believe. I think the designs are me are Mika actually because they did a song with V Flower and the character is clearly based on them. Well, she's still in the thing anyway. She's in the animation. Oliver nods. Not what? Not Miku? Not McDonald's? What are they doing? What are the, it's the triangle? The collar's on a shirt. So I think it should look more like that. Yes, Pebble, hello. Welcome, Pebble. Do you want to tell everyone about your new feather toy? Pebble wants you all to know he has a new favourite toy and it is his and if you take it off him, he's going to make a weird harmonica noise at you. I think he was meant to be growling or something. Like, Pebble is so soft and affectionate, he doesn't... He's never bit or scratched. If you've got, like, a scratch off him, it's because he's caught you by accident. Um, Because he likes to cuddle and get in your face. So we have to, like, he even lets us, like, you can, I literally can blow raspberries on his belly and he just sits there. Um, So the first time I ever heard him make a noise, even semblant, resemblant of a growl, was when we were playing tug of war with the new feather toy I got him literally yesterday. And um, he sounds like a harmonica. <laughs> he sounds like a wheezy harmonica. And it's like, Pebu, I meditate that seriously? He's such a baby. Oliver, I keep saying my IBS paint name is. I don't think it's showing. For you. Oh, is it like um a thing? So like, is it? Oh, it's an art account, as in not not a OneDrive, but an art account, as in people can like go and look at your stuff. I'd like to see your art. That'd be cool. Weird that it's not letting you put your username in though. Your username against YouTube terms and conditions. Realistically, a swear word can be against YouTube's terms and conditions, so, like, it doesn't even have to be bad for YouTube to be like, No, oh, you can't possibly. Oh, Oliver, the name is Star with a Z. Stars. Okay. So I'm guessing I just need to search, like, RBS Paint or something? What's the website they're all on? You're very lucky. Is it one of them situations where you only get, like, one username per person and it's taken because you're very lucky if you got stars, I think. So that's really pretty, but I'm surprised it was free. <laughs> Oliver finally, finally worked. What do we type in to go check it out? Hmm, I think that shirt is too long. Yeah, that's way better. She has her hoop thing. Ava, dang, I never knew there was an official McDonald's meet you. <laughs> Me either. I know um, it was requested last stream. And I was like, I'm making a side note of it. Because I don't know if there's an official... And, uh, yeah, I found a figure. So, oh, they were, they were right. 
It's an online gallery. IBS Paint, right? Welcome, Ava. How have you been doing? Look, I've been doing a bunch of drawing today. Um, not not necessarily Mika. I've done Mika on stream, but I did um emotes earlier. I'll be coloring some of that in later. Oliver, yes. Okay. So just to fill you in, Ava, we've got McMiku. <laughs> A toy box with a bunch of side quests. They kept coming up in conversation. We have the Colby of Luck. Um, Christmas. She's she turned out pretty sweet. And Easter. I'm very happy with how that one turned out because I was worried I'd make a mess of it. And it just turned out really sweet. So I think Christmas and Easter and toy box turned out very sweet. And I was worried about them. Also, I can't remember if you were here last stream, but we did do um, Newly Written. I'm good. How many Mikas have you done so far? Today has been Easter onwards. But I can't remember if you were here, so I'm also going to show you last time, which you were, we covered Newly Written. Well, there's mine. We had some inconsistencies here with the dress and the pigtails from the same music video. There was some inconsistencies. So we ultimately just went with what we liked. Um, I did this one. Very happy with how her dress turned out. It didn't end up a mess like I thought it would. She's fine. She's fine. Her hair actually looks really good, to be honest. And they're the ones from last stream. Oliver, when you search stars, go to artist and toy box Miku should show up. Oh, that's me. Okay. I will press play. Take a little nosy. On the IBS paint gallery. Oh yeah, draw paint app. This is the gallery or the app store gallery. Stars, artist. Oh, she's the first one. You did that just now. Excuse me? No way is that you? That's your icon. You drew that in so little time. Oh, she's pretty. Wow. You drew that so quickly and so well. She's so pretty. I love it. Wait, you can press play. It's like a speed draw or something. Oh, I see what it does. I don't have... Oh, yeah, that's a speed draw, too. It's cool. That is impressive. Um, Love, I sent you a Mako. You can't find more pretty and awesome one. Let me check. A Miku. Oh. Oh, I like that. Is that one of the racing Mikus? No. She's cool, though. Do you want me to put her in? Do you know what it's called? So I can write her down? <laughs> That's really cool, Oliver. I could show stream if you want. I won't without permission, though. But I could show stream. So Oliver drew nearly written. And Oliver mentioned they were thinking of doing an art channel, too. And... You are talented. Damn. That's really cool. I'm I'm just so flummoxed that you drew it so quickly. Um it is a it's one of the Figma racing. Okay, thank you. So we have McDonald's Miku. Uh next we will take Figma Racing. Look at this, everyone. That's really cool. My Miku knowledge at least recognized it as one of the racing Mikus. I can't remember which year. Oh, 2024 racing Miku's a witch. 
That's really cool. Oliver, sure you can show? Okay. I'm going to screenshot it because I'm not confident swapping windows in um, Streamlabs. So I'm just going to copy it in, basically. So we've got Toy Box here. Oliver drew a Toy Box along with us. Check this out. And you did that in the time it took me to sketch, I think, this one and that one. You did this so quickly from start to finish. So that was Oliver over on IBS Paint. The username is stars with a Z. If people want to give that a follow. Or you could follow Oliver directly in chat if you click on the name because they were contemplating a YouTube channel where they'd share more cool art like this, I suppose. That's so good. And Figma Racing needs writing down, but I've misplaced my pen, so I've screenshotted it for now. But either way, she's right there, so we won't lose her. Thank you for that one, love. Ava, she's so pretty. The rendering is really good, too. Mmm. -hmm. I was just stunned by how quickly you did it. When I was like, is that actually you? No way is that you. Was my brain going... You, you did all that so quick. There's no way you did that. Is it someone else's? It can't be. It's the same icon. Wow. Like, the skill? Come back. Honestly. So we've got what? The smooth lines. We've got shading. We've got lighting. Look at the hair. Patterns. You've included the patterns on, on all the little details and little bows and stars. That is a lot for, like, maybe 30 minutes. And you did a background, too. I do really like the background. Very much vibing with the background. Like, that is impressive. That is, you talent. Talented chat. Love, no problem. I have a copy of her. Wait, do you mean, like, the art? Or do you have a figure of her? Do you have one of the figures? So, so cool. Oh, I am on the wrong layer. That's a different colour. That's not transparent. That's the reference layer. Astro Blaze, you did that in 30 minutes. Yeah, they must eat done it in like 30 minutes. I support... Because, like, I streamed for two hours. It's nearly 10. And they were doing it whilst I was finishing off start. No, I did this Miku and that Miku in the time it took them to com do a complete image. So if we work out that in a stream, I usually do around four or five Mikus, one, two, three, four, then yeah, about 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Depending. Because I did do a lot of side quests today too, you know? Oliver, maybe. We just need to, like, go back in the stream and be like, I'm going to find the bit where you were like, I'm going to draw a toy box. And it's like, from there. Either way. Well done. Do you have more art on your account? Like, if I click on your username. I think her shoes are just, like, little slip-on red shoes. Either way, I don't need to really draw the base of them because she's kind of mid-jump here, so her feet are just point. The one foot there is way bigger than the other, so... Fix that. <laughs> Straw Blaze animations, bruh. Oliver, I barely post art on that account, but yes. I'll check out later then. That was really cool. I wasn't expecting something fully coloured, but at the same time I was. Like, I know you said you were shading. So, like, I was expecting colour, but then at the same time was still stunned by it, you know? Like, I was expecting colour and shading, because you said there was colour and shading, but, like, my brain just hadn't quite processed it.
classic Miku ponytails. There you go, that was cute. You wouldn't be able to tell that's McDonald's Miku really without the colour. I think it's the stripes that give it away a bit more. But that was pretty subtle. And we got our Figma Racing. I love her face, her. It's got like a really cute, youthful expression. I do really like Figma. Oh, the boots. Oh, and Love has the figure. Jealous. <laughs> That's so cool. That's a great figure to have. Oh, she's not jumping here? Wait, should she be? Oh, it's a harp, so she harps. And then there's a second twirl, and then she jumps and pirouettes. Okay. Let's get some shapes planned out. Uh, um, not sure how I'm going to start planning out the uh, the shoes. The legs? Are we thinking big boots or prosthetics? Has she got like prosthetic legs on this figure or are they like knee support and just cool robot boots? What do we think that is? Do you have a glove? Oliver, my internet went bye bye for a second. Oh no. I think her face needs a cheek. And she does have like a collar piece. And like bits to put down there. I like how shiny her hair is actually on her bangs. I hate when I'm like, I'm going to block out some shapes and then I block out a shape that just seems too perfect and it's like, okay, I guess I'll be keeping that then. <laughs> Love, imagine walking in them just five kilograms on your legs. Oof. The knee, Australia's knee joint makes me think prosthetics. That's what I was thinking, because, like, literally the knee joint, like you said. So we got our colour. I know um, what you mean, love, because um, we did Faye Yen a while back, and we had the same discussion in chat. This one. Where it's like, how how does she sit? How difficult is this to perform in? And how relieving does it feel at the end of a concert to swap from this into like pajamas or something? Never mind kicking your shoes off after a long day, the robot costume after a long performance on stage. So I feel like that was a similar one, but that was definitely a costume she's wearing, whereas. These could, where are we? There. She already looks pretty cute, actually, with even with just like the dress simple like that. Astro Blaze, I think I know a thing or two about prosthetic legs now. <laughs> but I, I agree with Astro Blaze. It's the knee joint that made me question it. That's why I asked. So I was like, hmm. It could be like knee support, like this whole bit that's a lighter grey with the red dots on. Could be a knee bracket being worn over the leg, but it's just the way it kind of like cuts into her knee almost. It looks like there's a bolt. And I'm like, is that just a joint work for the figure? Or is it like cool prosthetics?
Hmm. Let's see, that's... Oh, and she has a bag. That's a bag. I'm just going to leave it like that for now because I don't need... Actually, might as well just put it on. What does she have in her bag? Miku bag tour? Question mark. It's interesting for them to include a bag in the design, actually. I don't really think we see that a lot. So now I am curious what it's for. <laughs> but yeah, the racing Mikus, there's some really cool ones. And that makes the second racing for Miku as well, actually. I think that was something I mentioned on stream recently when people, someone was asking about what we do and don't have. And like, I have a big list. I can read the list if anyone's interested to know specifically what we do definitely have and will have. As far as will have will go, the list is um, trailing off empty at the minute. Literally, this is now the last thing on that list. So we do need more Mikus <laughs> again. Getting through them quickly. But I remember someone was asking about that and I was like, we don't have a lot of the racing Mikus because quite a lot get made. I think we get one every year. that in and we can just about see the numbers on her leg this time actually okay I'm going to do the legs last because the legs want a lot of attention on them like Pebble Pebble wants lots of attention on him too Ooh, we definitely got to give her a gun too. What do you think the gun's for? Do you think it's an actual gun or do you think it's something car or like driving related, like a petrol pump? I could believe it's just a petrol pump. But I also want it to be like a laser gun. Like a space gun. Ava, when I hear Racing Miku, I thought you meant like NASCAR. <laughs> I don't know what they're for. I just know it's Good Smile Racing. But Good Smile is the company that makes the figures. Oliver is talking about white powder with his friend and he's 11, mind you. Huh? Huh? Oh, Oliver, I think my brother is going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh. I don't know. Maybe he's talking about talc. He just doesn't want, like, to get chafe on his legs or something. He's probably going to get in trouble. <laughs> I know that maneuver where it's like, oh, the sibling's about to get in trouble. Time to just uh, head to my room out the way. I'm going to look at something else. <laughs> then again, talking about something is different to doing something. That was an awful smile, Miku. Thank you. That's better. Love, maybe those guns for racing, like when they shoot at the start of racing. All of a beer when you're like 11. Ah. Yeah, that's the issue. 11. Maybe he's just trying to sound cool to his friend. Just go in and be like, Call him out, be like, you, you get a tummy ache if you drink cola. You know. Well, um, headphone. It could be the guns at the start of a race. That could make sense. But it's like plugged into the something on her back.
Maybe she's secretly also a robot. Love, I'm from the Balkans. Don't even ask when I drank beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the UK, you... In the UK, with adult supervision, I think you're allowed to drink at 16. I only say I think because though I am from the UK, I've just never been interested in alcohol at all. Um, We have a thing in place called... Right, I think you can drink at 16 if you have adult supervision. However, it's easy to get a hold of and it's not uncommon for people to start younger. Um, You have to be, I think, 18 years of age to purchase it, but we have a scheme in place where you have to visually look 21 years or older or else you get ID'd. So if you look, don't look like you're 21, or is it 25? It might be 25. If you don't look like you're 25, people will ID you. In the UK, you have to also be, I think, 16 years of age to buy an energy drink. So you can't buy a can of monster here if you're under 16 or look younger than 16 and don't have ID. I still get ID'd for energy drinks, which sucks for Squeaky because Squeaky likes energy drinks. And often I've tried to buy like a sandwich meal deal for him. And I've had to come home with something else because he's like, I'm sorry, they ID'd me and I don't carry ID because I don't need to do that. So they just said no. Oliver, I might get the toy Miku toy box Miku figure. I think you should do it. Love, the first time I got wasted was when I was hot. Damn. Damn. I need a drink. In context of the conversation, it's Vimto, it's juice. So <laughs> a discussion about alcohol and then just the sentence, I need a drink. Right. Yeah, strawberry and lime. Well, I was never really... Oh, Ava, oh, by the way, it's Saturday's stream moved to today, or is this an extra stream? Hot? Wait. Oh. No, I'm supposed to stream today. I thought I messed up. I was like, oh, wait. Did I goof? No, there'll still be a Saturday stream, Ava. But I'm supposed to be stream on Fridays as well. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. 8 till 10 is when I usually do the streams. But last... I almost said last month, oof. Last week, I had to miss on Saturday, which I usually do, because Pebble jumped on the bed. For context, Pebble's a kitten. Oh, look at her hair. She's so cute. Right, Pebble jumped on the bed and landed with a paw in my face, so my eye was blurry all day. I couldn't see properly, and I decided... I probably shouldn't strain my eye trying to see the screen to draw. Like, I could see enough to walk about the house and stuff, sure, but it was blurry. So I figured I should, probably should have stayed away from straining it, which is why I decided to stream on Sunday instead. So I will still be streaming on Saturday. Ava, oh, I thought it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Thank you. No problem. I, it still takes me time to remember. That's why I go through it so slowly in my brain. I'm like, don't mess up. But I'm off on Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. Okay, right. The complicated bit is the gun design and the leggy design. So we're going to... Uh, we're going we're gonna to sketch those... Good smell racing. Do we have 
I've got Oliver's fantastic art on my uh, internet browser at the minute still. Um, Good Smile Racing. Miku. So I'm going to see if I can get a better angle, angle of the gun. I don't know what year she is, though. 2024 is so cool. It's a witch. Oh, she's 2020. I think. Let's track. 2020. Hey, it's the 2021. Okay. Um, trying to find a different angle of the figure so I can see the gun. The Nendoroid for it comes with a face mask. Oh my god. The Nendoroid comes with a face mask. It's the 2020 figure. I don't know how I feel about that. It's the COVID year and they released her with a face mask. Did they actually? Or has someone customised that? Because that looks legit because it's got printing and everything. Ooh, that might be a good one for the legs. Love, was it you in chat? 2020, thank you. Yes. Love, was it you? It's your figure, right? Does does the Figma, the tall one, come with the face mask as well? Or is that just the Nendroid? Well, I was hoping this one would be an extra leg reference, but she's tiny. You know what? No one wants to show me the gun. Why not? I don't understand. Something about... Snaf there? Sorry, my phone rotated. I can't read chat. There we go. Oliver, toy box and a FNAF obsession of a room. <laughs> oh, it didn't come with a face mask. The Nendoroid version of it seems to have potentially have one. Ava, got to go. Bye. Okay. It was lovely to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Bye bye. So the gun is essentially a big square cone. It's kind of looking like a mixture between a security camera and a hairdryer. So we've got that on the gun. Um, she needs whatever the tube is for. Shit. I dropped my phone. It made a loud noise, I'm sorry. I don't know if the mic picked that up. The mic's usually good at not picking up loud noises. Hopefully it didn't. If it did, I'm sorry for deafening people. Okay. So, kind of like a hoop sh sunglasses shape here. And we've got the knee bracket as well. Which is... I don't know what to say that shape is. I kind of want to say octopus in a way. A diglet with legs. Diglet with legs. <laughs> Oops. Don't know why, but sometimes my brain resets when I'm sketching in a different colour. And then my brain's like, ah yes, I can handle this now. I didn't change anything. I just changed the colour on the pen. Oliver, mm, I changed my mind. The Toy Box Miku is around 103 to 165. Ouch. But at the same time, a valid goal to save. Oh, she's got rocket boosters on her ankles. It'd be a valid saving goal? Like, if someone's like, I'm going to save up for this, I, like, yeah, I can see why. It's She's gorgeous. She's great. Yeah, figures are, unfortunately, a luxury. And usually that's where the price ends up so high because they just, they're usually hand-painted as well. So usually you're paying for, like, you're getting what you pay for, you know? But it also does suck in a way because it's like, oh, I want to have 
content and items of characters I love, but cost. Like the 15th anniversary Miku is a, f a fan favorite in general. And she's like 500, I think. Figmas are usually, Figmas and Nendroids are usually good because there's a large variety and they're generally more affordable. And there's, like I say, a huge variety of different things, especially for Miku and Nendroid. Miku, Nendroid, and just Good Smile Company in general is pretty good for figures. And you can pose them too. Although there's so many art styles I want. Love, I sent you some in different angles. Perfect. Thank you. Ooh, you can see the back now. Oh, it's not a rocket. It's a wheel. She's got wheels on her shoes. Okay. That is actually helpful for the gun as well and the legs. Thank you. Oop, wrong layer. We need it on the top one. It needs to be up here. So we've got this for the gun. We're going to flip it. So I'll put that over there. And we've got another picture for her leggies. Oh, and there is a sleeve on one of her arms. I've missed that. Actually, we can let her overlap for a, for a moment because I'm working on the legs. Careful, Rigeki. Okay, I don't really think we can see much of the wheel here. We do now know that this bracket is going around the upper part and leaving a space for the carve. So we do know that's not a full leg. And there is a red line. Um, she got some tassels too. So I think changing the colours when you're sketching something in general is decent art advice on my end. It can help you plan stuff out, especially if you've got something more complicated in shape. It can make it easier to plan that stuff out. Like, y'all have seen me do it several times during the streams with Miku. I'm constantly doing it. I want wheel shoes. That's pretty cool. Okay, this arm will need the armband that we're missing, which then turns into a bit of a sleeve. And on this gun, it's a bit tricky. I love she has wheelies. She got heelies. I mean, I just kind of generally need to know what it looks like so that I can place the details in later when I do the line art. No, it's just a little point and a box. What's, did someone request Rinchan now, or were we just talking about it? I think we were just talking about it, weren't we? Okay, and the top's just a standard hairdryer-looking piece. So the top's okay.
Okay. Nice. Move it on to the right color, move up here, and we can get rid of the overlapping imagery because we just now kind of need one for color. We've got 2020 Racing, McDonald's, Toy Box, Christmas 2021, and Easter. I'm going to move these so they're not blocking anything and probably get rid of the side quests. Buy side quests. Hit save. Ooh, I think the hair looks pretty good as well with the jump, the way it like, as she's coming back down from the hop, it flutters. So like if it now kind of like does a shape that kind of falls back down. Like that. And then as she twirls, we can also keep an eye on what the hair would do throughout the twirl. Like there. Uh... So like you kind of like keep it in mind. Love, I wish as well as the shoes. Yes. Ooh. So this is gonna look really cool. But we're now up to date with Miku requests. So I might have to go digging through the Instagram comments to see if there's any more that I missed or gathered in the meantime. But thank you everyone for joining the stream. I'll add any um subscriptions gotten during the video to the miku sub count uh we've currently got a bonus nine in total oliver i sleepy you've been doing a bunch of art and you've been very sociable i think you've definitely deserved a little nap as a treat unless it's like bedtime anyway where you are i don't know it could be a little nap during the day for all i know it could be like 3 a.m and you know bedtime <laughs> Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for adding your requests. It's very appreciated. The project's looking really cool so far. I will see everyone tomorrow 